Hello, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this knockout effect with your SVG designs. It's a nice way to not have to layer your two different elements or your two different vinyl colors or something like that. So we're, I'm going to show you how to do this step by step in Inkscape. So let me pull this design over here to the side and we'll go ahead and we'll get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go right over here to our text tool. That's this A and I'm going to click on that and then you can click anywhere on your artboard and you can type out what you want to have your design say. So for this example, I'm just having it say Nana going to say my favorite Nana. You can do this with names. You can do this with years. You can do this for wedding gifts. There's all kinds of things that you can do um, that look really cool as a knockout. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight um, the text that I want to change the font for. So I'm going to change the font of my favorite to garden script, garden walk script. And then this font actually has a matching bold um, print with it. And so it's a duo that came together. So it's a serif font. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use that pair because I really love the way those two look together. Um, but you can use any font that you want for um, this technique. So once I have my text typed out, I know the font that I want to use. Now it's time for me to turn these into a graphic so I can really start editing it. So to do that, I'm gonna go up here to path, object to path. Okay, and so now I can no longer change the font. So make sure you have exactly which font you wanna use before you do that step. And then I'm gonna to go to Object Ungroup, and I'm gonna do this so that way I can separately edit the words my favorite and then the words Nana. Um, I can kind of make it a little more individualized. Now, the word my favorite, I don't need to edit that. I'm not going to change spacing or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go Path union on that element of my design. With Nana, I'm gonna make this a lot bigger. And then what I, you can do here is if you notice each letter is independent, if you wanna squeeze them together, you can. If you wanna keep them the same spacing, that's totally up to you. Again, just you know, designer preference here. And then once you have it solid exactly the way that you want, you're gonna press union. So now I have both of these two elements of my design are um, ready to be layered on top of each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna change this font color so that we can see it a little bit better. Um, but if you notice, it's kind of hard to read that word favorite without that little white cutout behind it. And if you're layering something, you might not necessarily want to have to put two layers on top of each other. So let me show you how to get that little white outline. We're going to have the words my favorite, whatever you want to do the knockout, selected. And you're going to go up here to path and you're going to say linked offset. And when you do that, this little bitty dot right here pops up and you can click and hold on that dot and kind of pull. And when you pull, it looks like your font is getting a lot fatter, but what's happening is it's creating an outline around your entire word and that's what's actually getting larger. And I'm gonna change that color to white just so that we can see exactly what that looks like. Now, I don't want it to be that fat. And again, this is just kind of personal preference here on how skinny or or how unskinny um, you want that outline to be. But we're not done yet. We're gonna continue to have that offset selected, and then I'm gonna go up here to my arrow tool, I'm gonna hold down the shift key, and I'm also going to select the word Nana. And what we need to do is we need to get rid of that white, because right now that's an entirely separate element of our design, and we need to get rid of that. So we're gonna click on Difference. And when we do that, it completely cuts out that word, that outline from the word Nana. So now we are ready to save this design as an SVG file. We can click on File, Save As, and then we wanna click on Plain SVG. And that way we don't have to layer, um, and it kind of highlights that word that we knocked out in the middle. I cannot wait to see what types of words and phrases you use this same technique on. Otherwise, I will see you guys back in the next tutorial. Bye.